Each and every one of us began life as a single cell, no bigger than a full stop. From this, we developed into a human being made up of trillions of cells performing countless different functions. But how? Pregnancy from conception to birth takes an average of 40 weeks, starting from the beginning of the mother's last menstrual period. Development begins with fertilization, when a sperm merges with an egg to create a single cell called a zygote. This cell holds immense potential. It is a shared genetic inheritance from the mother and the father, encoded in the genes of their combined DNA. Over the next four days, the zygote journeys down the fallopian tube to the uterus. On the way, it divides, eventually forming a cluster of cells called a blastocyst, which has two distinct parts. One part will form the embryo. The other part will form the placenta, which nourishes it. The blastocyst arrives in the uterus, and within two days, the cells sink in and attach to the uterine wall to continue their development. By four weeks, the embryo consists of three layers that will become the baby's organs and tissues. The ectoderm will become the central nervous system, the brain and spine. The mesoderm gives rise to deeper structures, the muscles, cartilage and bones. And the endoderm will form blood cells and the intestines. At around five weeks, a heartbeat can be detected. Muscles begin to form, and small swellings called limb buds show where the arms and legs are growing. From eight weeks, the organs, nerves and muscles are all in place. The embryo is now referred to as a fetus. At around 10 weeks, the face is taking shape, and the fetus is recognizably human. Between 11 and 14 weeks, fingernails, toenails and unique fingerprints are beginning to form. Between 15 and 26 weeks, the fetus begins to react to loud sounds. It is now possible to tell whether it is a boy or a girl. Between 26 and 36 weeks, the fetus will begin to react to light and to develop a sleep cycle. The lungs and nervous system have matured to the point where the fetus stands a good chance of survival if it is born prematurely. From now, the fetus starts to put on weight very rapidly, growing fat deposits under the skin, ready for life outside the womb. From 37 weeks, the baby is full term and may be born at any time. By now, the baby is usually head down so that it can descend into the mother's pelvis. Eventually, the mother's uterine muscles start to contract. The cervix shortens and opens, and the baby makes its journey down the birth canal and into the world. It is the start of its life as a physically separate being, a baby, with trillions of specialized cells, and it all began from just one. <laughs>